Today I will show you how to crochet nice, unusual motif made of two colors in freeform technique. For work you need two balls of yarn and a crochet hook. Begin the work. Make a chain of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's begin the first swing. Make single crochet into the second chain stitch away from the hook. Then half double crochet into the next chain stitch. Then double crochet into the next chain stitch. Two double crochet into the next chain stitch. Then double crochet. Two treble crochet into the next chain stitch. Then treble crochet into the next chain stitch. Make two double treble crochet stitches into the next chain stitch. And double treble crochet stitch into the next chain stitch. Make a chain, turn the work. I am making single crochet stitches. Make single crochet into the each stitch of the previous row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, and twelve. The first wing is made. You can change the color of yarn. I take other color of yarn, make a chain, make single crochet into the next stitch, then half double crochet. into the next stitch, then double crochet into the next stitch, then double crochet twice into the next stitch, 
Continue double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet twice into the next stitch. Double crochet. Two double treble crochet stitches into the next stitch. And double treble crochet stitch into the next stitch. Here what we have, make a chain, turn the work, I'm making a row of single crochet stitches, make single crochet into the each stitch of the previous row. Make the last single crochet Let's begin the third wing For this, take the previous yarn Make a chain Make a chain more Make single crochet Half double crochet, double crochet, then double crochet twice into the next stitch. Then treble crochet. Then treble crochet twice into the next stitch. Then treble crochet into the next stitch. And double treble crochet twice into the next stitch. To complete this ring, make a double treble crochet stitch. Make a chain and I'm making a row of single crochet stitches. Make single crochet into the each stitch of the previous row. I continue the work and as you can see I have done two more wings and we continue the work turn the work to the back side I'm making a row of single crochet stitches Make a chain to bring up the yarn and single crochet into the each stitch. Let's 
let's make the last one. The row is made. Two rows of work. This is other color of yarn. Insert the hook into the stitch. Take the, this color of yarn, pull it through. Let's begin the next element. Chain of 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. Work a slip stitch into the 4th chain stitch away from the hook. the work like this. Insert the hook into the small ring. I'm making single crochet stitches. Let's count one, two, three, Four, and five. Two rounds of work. Insert the hook into the single crochet. Make two single crochet into this stitch, one and two. Make two single crochet into the next stitch, one and two. Two single crochet into the next stitch. Make two single crochet. Here how it looks at this point. Make two single crochet into the next stitch. and slip stitch into the next stitch. Let's stop and look at work. And we'll continue. Make a chain. Make single crochet into the each stitch of the previous row. Work a slip stitch into the chain stitch in the beginning of this round. If you don't crochet in rounds and you decided to crochet in spiral direction, you will got unusual spiral element. Let's make one more round single crochet stitches. Make single crochet into the each stitch of the previous row. Work a slip stitch into the chain stitch in the beginning of this row. Make 
the element is ready here how it looks I don't cut off the working yarn now I will work with other color of yarn make a chain two single crochet in a row make the third one now I am making the same element of this color of yarn chain of six one two three four five six work a slip stitch into the fifth chain stitch away from the hook we have got a ring make single crochet into the ring one two three four five six work a slip stitch into the first single crochet make a chain make single crochet into the same single crochet that we had finished the previous row into and two single crochet into the next stitch two single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the next stitch single crochet twice into the next stitch and make single crochet twice into the each stitch of the previous row we finish this row and work a slip stitch into the chain stitch at the beginning of this row I will work in rounds and crochet single crochet stitches chain to bring up the yarn make single crochet into the each stitch of the previous row till the end of this row work a slip stitch into the chain stitch in the beginning of this row here what we have make the next row chain to bring up the yarn and single crochet into the each stitch of the previous row till the end of this row To complete this row, work a slip stitch. Here is our element. Here how it looks. Make a chain. Make single crochet two together. Make the first one, make the second one, and put 
bol hırı oğlu sen de hık. Two single crochet in a row. Then single crochet two together. Make the first one, the second one and pull through. Then two single crochet in a row. One and two. Then single crochet two together. Make the first one. Make the second one. And pull her all loops on the hook. Then two single crochet one and two. Make single crochet. And to complete this row, work a slip stitch into the chain stitch on the beginning of this row. Let's look what we have. I straight up the element. The center of this element you can decorate with other color of yarn or other kind of yarn. I'm going to make one more such element of other color of yarn. I have done three elements. I remind you, you can stop in any stage of the work. I will work with this side. Take orange color of yarn, insert the hook into the stitch, make a chain, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. It will be a row of Tunisian crochet. Continue working till the end of this row. I finish this row. Then yarn over, pull through first loop. Then yarn over, pull through two loops till the end of this row. Then yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Continue like this till the end of this round. Row one is made. Insert the hook into the stitch and pull up a loop. Insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop. Insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop. Insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop. And continue till the end of this row. I insert the hook into the last chain stitch. Then yarn over, pull through first loop. Then yarn over, pull through two loops. 
and continue doing this till the end of this row. The second row of the Tunisian crochet is ready. I skip first stitch, insert the hook into the second stitch and pull up a loop. Continue doing this till the end of this row. Insert the hook into the chain stitch, pull up a loop. Then yarn over, pull through first loop. Then yarn over, pull through two loops till the end of this row. Now I alternate with row where I insert the hook into the first stitch and pull up a loop and with the second row where I skip it the first stitch and begin the work from the second stitch as I did in the previous row. The number of rows you determine by yourself. Here how it looks my swatch of the Tunisian crochet. I don't cut off this yarn and we continue the work, take other color of yarn, insert the hook into the last wing, chain of four, one, two, three, four, and single crochet into the Tunisian swatch, then chain of two, we skip two stitches and single crochet into the third stitch, turn the work, yarn over twice, make treble crochet stitches into the four chain space, let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's look at the work. I have done six treble crochet stitches and now I join these stitches with the last wing. Let's make some trebles because we have a small space, one, two. Now we join these stitches to the wing. and work a slip stitch, chain of three, I am making a row of front post and back post double crochet stitches. Work front post double crochet, then back post double crochet around the next stitch, insert the hook around the next stitch from the back to the front like this, then front post double crochet, insert the hook around the next stitch from the front to the back by making front post double crochet. Now back post double crochet,
front pose double crochet and back pose double crochet front pose double crochet and back pose double crochet front pose double crochet and make back pose double crochet around the last stitch I have done a row of front post and back post double crochet stitches and join stitches to the Tunisian swatch I take other color of yarn make a chain chain of three make double crochet twice into the each of next stitch then double crochet into the next stitch two double crochet through the next stitch double crochet twice into the next stitch and double crochet into the next stitch and repeat again double crochet twice into the next stitch and just double crochet here what we have continue double crochet twice into the next stitch and just double crochet double crochet into the third chain stitch on the beginning of this row chain of two now I will repeat a row of front post and back post double crochet stitches make front post double crochet back post double crochet front post double crochet and back post double crochet I have done a row of front post and back post double crochet stitches then as you can see I did a row of double crochet stitches and a row of front post and back post double crochet and we continue the work I'm making slip stitches make a chain and make slip stitches till the other color of yarn one two make the third slip stitch I have done three slip stitches and chain of eight Work a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. Turn the work. We have got a ring. Make single crochet, then half double crochet into the ring. And four double crochet into the ring. One. Two, three, four, three treble crochet stitches into the ring, one, two, 
two, three, four double crochet, one, two, three, and four half double crochet and single crochet into the ring let's look what we have I have done first petal in this way in this part will be three such leaves make a slip stitch into the chain stitch let's begin the second leaf it will be made of other color of yarn make a chain of eight Work a slip stitch into the first chain stitch turn the work let's begin make single crochet Half double crochet into the ring, four double crochet into the ring, one, two, three, four. Three treble crochet stitches, one, two, three, four double crochet into the ring, two, three. and four half double crochet and single crochet work a slip stitch into the chain stitch let's look what we have I have done two leaves in total it should be three of them We need to crochet one more. I have done one more leaf, the other color of yarn. I don't cut off this color of yarn. Work a slip stitch into the stitch of the swatch. I am making a row of single crochet stitches for more beautiful look. Make single crochet into the each stitch of the previous row.
The motif in free form technique is made. This is one side and this is other one. Here how it looks in other color of yarn. Thanks for watching.